okay 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 guys uh today is saturday and obviously i'm putting on my ac because three days ago i wasn't able to do that because i thought the nigeria government has increased electricity tariff however they are planning on increasing it but aedc were so fast to quickly implement it and now he has got to our notice that that increment wasn't real it was a fraud but according to aedc they said it was a glitch in their system that we are overcharging people <laughs> Nigeria Wala ADC said it was a glitch, but we believe it was a fraud from the ADC. And now, according to the Nigeria federal government, has, has uh, issued a 200 million naira charges against AEDC. 200 million naira. And they are asking ADC to immediately refund all the money they collected from customers. To immediately refund all the money they collected from customers. And according to this memo for Nigeria Electricity Regulation Commission, they said the, nation, the Nigeria Electricity Commission has taken enforcement action against Abuja Electricity Distribution PLC AEDC for non-compliance with the supplementary order on the April 24 multi-year tariff order 2024 for AEDC. The order AEDC has been fined 200 million for failure to comply with the prescribed customer ban dissatisfaction for the tariff billing. The decision followed a details review and customer feedback, which revealed that AEDC has applied the new tariff to all customer bound contrary to the order, which was assigned to ensure fair billing practices. AEDC therefore mandated to reimburse all customers in bound B, C, D, and E, respectively, that were billed above the allowed customer categories tariff bound and the reimbursement through the provision okay and to also pay the sum of 200 million naira as a fine for the flungant breach of the commission order file evidence of compliance with the directive in a and c with the commission by 12th april 2024 okay you know so let's see no, you know, Nigerians know they believe too much of all this English, honestly. <laughs> they don't believe. You know, they might see them saying it, but they don't still believe if they actually are uh, doing it, though. They don't believe if they will actually, actually, from the bottom of their heart, find AEDC. They believe this is just, mm, they're just the talk so that they will face a Nigeria government talk. But it's good that we should still have some setting uh, setting realance on the government. And meanwhile, this was ADC public notice as as yesterday. After the fine, they said this to inform customer across the Abuja Electricity Distribution PLC franchise that we are aware of the wrong charges faced by some B, uh, BA customers who try to recharge their meters following the new tariff. This was due to system glitch caused by the reclassification of some band a customer who uh, also band A customer who have now been downgraded to band B due to the number of hours of electricity supply enjoyed over the past few weeks. This this band a customer who we okay now let us know how you say we apologize for any convenience caused to our customer during the charges during the change we remain committed to improve okay they are not talking about how they are going to reimburse people reimburse people first <laughs> you know anything may don't enter people want for this country to pay back in our allah 
let us get that straight. To pay back is a really, really big problem. So for me, I am 90% sure that customer will not get their reimbursement. I am even sure, I'm not even sure if they have rectified it yet. I will try to buy to check if they have rectified it. But a lot of people now are afraid to buy because they feel they have not rectified it. Well, let's watch and see. And after that, let's talk about the Minister of Power. Minister, the Minister, sorry, the Minister of Power uh, had an interview yesterday and he was talking about how Nigerians are very, very flamboyant when it comes to storage. That we use things anyhow because things are cheap. Bitter, bitter truth that we also need to tell ourselves as Nigerians. We are all Nigerians. A few people are only privileged to sit on the high table there. We are on the same level. We must be able to talk the truth to ourselves. We don't have the culture of consumption management in this country in terms of power just because of the cheapness of the tariff we pay in power. A lot of people come back from work, they want to have dinner, or they want to play with their colleagues down the road. They switch on the AC for the room to, to be cooling before they come back. Yes, some people will be going to work in the morning, a freezer will be left on for days. They will still leave it on. When all the items in the freezer are already frozen, and five, six, eight hours of their absence will not be able to defreeze, they will still leave it if you consume power. Just because we are not paying enough. We've all been overseas before. We know how conscious the power consumers are, are to consumption of electricity. Even after I was talking, that people were even murmuring. That was a child, man, you don't they mess up or you don't they talk anyhow. But he said a lot of truth, though. Let me not lie. He said a lot of truth. Uh, but such truth, uh, Nigerians do not want it. Let me give you a reason. For example, the power is not constant. Just imagine putting, uh, cooking your soup and beans, putting it in freezer, and there is no light. Or maybe there is light. What will give you the confidence that if you leave that fridge off, if you switch off that fridge, coming back again, you will still need that light. If there is 24 hours light, eh, what lie, eh, people will be switching off their light. In fact, before they go, go out of the house, they will switch off their meter directly from their meter. And when they come back, they will switch it on. Because they have confidence that whenever they come back, there will be light. But right now, there is no confidence. Why don't the federal government, Minister of Power, why don't you build that confidence first? Eh? Everything that they bombard the citizens, you guys are excluding yourself. Bring out that confidence first. That see, if you give Nigeria light, two days straight, three days straight, who will want to leave their fridge all on for three days straight? Am I crazy? Why would I want to leave my fridge on for three days straight when there's constant light? I will switch it off myself. You don't even need to tell Nigerians. Nigerians know exactly what to do. It's not about the price. It's about the constant light. If there is constant power, watch them and see how they're going, they are going to... Uh, they are going to tune it down a little bit. Okay? Firstly, work on the confidence. Give us regular light and see how people will watch it. Now, uh, for the past few days, I'm beginning to see a little bit of constant light, but I'm still afraid. If I should switch on my fridge now. And there are some fridges that cannot hold block. <laughs> again, that again. There are so many other stuff. You know, Minister of Power, you said a lot of truth, but also... They never really gave us the confidence to tell us that, see, switch off your fridge. Anytime you come back, there will be light for you to continue freezing your food. Mm -hmm. By the time you give us those confidence, eh, 
all of us go relax. We go switch up that fridge well. In fact, if we are able traveling for days, we will switch up that fridge. Nothing go happen because we know so if we come back, light go see day. Hmm? Light go see day. So, Mr. Power. Well, uh, still on that very matter, Tunable regime has unveiled plan to launch new national identity card with payment and social service delivering capacity. <laughs> God, God, oh. federal government plan to launch new national identity card with payment and social service delivering capability. I don't understand. We have a national identity card that the federal government told us that we can use it to withdraw money from the bank. There's this chip behind it. I have it now. I can bring it. Far. Let me bring it. Bless you, I get here. Let me bring it, guys. It's not something that uh, I will be hiding. Uh, I, have, I have it here. Let me bring it here. Okay. This is my national identity card. Mm. I'm not going to reveal all the information, but of course, you see, you see a chip here. You see a chip here. See a chip. They told us this national identity card will be used for to do a lot of things. So withdraw money. You can take it outside abroad. You don't need to carry your ATM. You don't need to do this. A lot of promises were made on this national identity card. But now, and national identity card has the uh, 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 expiring date. <laughs> well, and now, guess what? According to NIMSI, they say the federal government of Nigeria, through the National Identity Card Management, is collaborating with the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Nigeria in internal banking system has launched to an innovative identity solution with payment functionality for all type of social and finance service to be powered by Africo, a national domestic card scheme. The national identity card layer with verifiable national identity features, a backed by Nielsen Act number, okay, which mandate needs it to enroll and issue a general multi-purpose card to Nigerians and legal res uh, residents. The card will address the demand for physical identity, enabling card holders to prove their identity, access government and private social service facility. <sighs> Maybe the same thing. We have national identity card. Do you know you cannot vote with this card? You cannot vote with this card. You still have to do a, a voter's card to prove that you are in Nigeria to be able to vote. How many cards you get for this country? How many cards? Well, if it's a welcome development, why not? Let them give us a national identity card, another one again, to prove that we are, we are Nigerians for the second time. I welcome you guys. I welcome it. 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 I 